Okay, uh, so now that we know how to calculate some of the properties of waves, it, it should be important that we talk about what the waves are. And it turns out when we talk about light, um, it is actually comprised of two waves, both an electric uh, field component and a magnetic field component that oscillate in um, orthogonal directions, meaning that if we look at the this electromagnetic wave uh, traveling in the x direction from left to right, the electric field component would oscillate in, say, the y-axis, and the magnetic field component would oscillate in the z-axis, in and out of the plane of the board. And that, why, that is why light is often um, referred to as electromagnetic radiation. Um, anytime we talk about the uh, electromagnetic radiation, it's uh, common to show the electromagnetic spectrum. And what this is, is um, it shows um, on scale uh, both the frequency and uh, wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. Here we have the scale for uh, wavelength uh, in meters, and here is the um, scale for frequency in hertz, even though that there is a uh, typo there, of course, the abbreviation for frequency is the Greek letter nu. Um, as we uh, saw with the equation C equals lambda nu, um, we noticed that wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional. Uh, so that we can see that as the wavelength scale um, decreases from left to right, over on the far end of the spectrum we have wavelengths of 10 to the minus 15th meters, very, very small wavelengths. And the corresponding scale for frequency is very, very high frequencies, 10 to the 24th. If we go to the other side, we see lower frequencies, 10 to the 4th hertz or reciprocal seconds, uh, correspond to electromagnetic radiation with very long wavelengths, 10 to the 5th meters. As is customary, uh, you can see that the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum is this very small portion that consists from 750 nanometers to around 400 nanometers. Um, it is often to use units of nanometers when discussing visible light just to make it more convenient. Um, and also you can see the various other regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, gamma rays, x-rays, UV rays, uh, right here infrared, microwaves, and radio waves. Uh, those names and those breakdowns of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum are um, only um, utilized because of either the different uses that these radiation sources have or the different uh, ways that we can produce these um, sources of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, but really, uh, the only difference between any types of electromagnetic radiation, whether it be gamma rays or radio waves, is the frequency and wavelength of the electromagnetic uh, wave. So here's our first example where we are going to want to be able to calculate uh, the wavelength of light based on a frequency. Okay. Now, as we said, we can utilize this equation. The speed of light equals the wavelength times frequency. Uh, we know that the speed of light is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. If we want to calculate the wavelength, we'll rearrange this. Wavelength equals C over nu, which equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, divided by, um, we're looking for the wavelength of a barcode scanner that has a frequency of 4.62 times 10 to the 14th reciprocal seconds. And we can see that the seconds here are going to cancel out. So the number that we calculate here is going to be in meters. And if we do this in our calculator, 6.49 times 10 to the negative 7th meters is the value we calculate. Uh, three sig figs, both those values. Okay? Uh, because this, of course, is uh, uh, in the visible spectrum, red light, uh, it's often just for convenience, reported uh, with units of nanometers. It's often cumbersome to say 6.49 times 10 to the negative 7th meters um, all the time if you're discussing visible wavelengths of light. So what are we going to do? We're going to convert 6.49 times 10 to the negative 7th meters, and we're going to convert that into nanometers. 
and we know that the conversion factor is in one meter, 10 to the ninth nanometers. Meters are going to cancel out, and so we are going to get a value of 649 nanometers is the wavelength for this barcode scanner. Now another thing we should discuss um, when discussing uh, electromagnetic radiation and of course visible light is um, what is exactly going on when we see colors. Okay. Well it turns out that most of the light um, or the wavelengths of light that we see are reflected at us from the various objects that are um, we observe as those colors. Uh, most of the time we are in an environment that has a white light source, so whether it be the sun outside or various light bulbs indoors. A uh, white light is a spectrum, uh, and pure white light would be a continuous spectrum of all the visible wavelengths of light from 400 nanometers in the violet uh, and to you know around 750 nanometers over in the red uh, portion of the uh, white vis or the visible light spectrum. If you disperse all of these wavelengths um, with, say, a prism or disperse them with a gradient, uh, you break that white light into all of its uh, com comprising uh, wavelengths of light, and of course that would be the uh, colors of the rainbow we often associate with visible light. Okay. Now it turns out that um, if we view something that is red, such as this uh, shirt, uh, what we're actually observing is all of the colors of the visible light spectrum that are not being absorbed by the matter that we're observing. Okay, of course, in this uh, shirt, there's some type of organic molecules in the dye, um, as well as other various um, molecules in the shirt. Uh, white light comprising with all or most of the visible wavelengths of light are striking that shirt all of the uh, wavelengths that that molecule can absorb are being absorbed. Those that are not being absorbed are being reflected. And of course, that's what we would see if this was, um, if we were in the same room. We would absorb the red wavelengths of light that are not being absorbed uh, by the molecules in that shirt. The red wavelengths of light are being reflected. Now, of course, um, we can see visible light. Uh, all the other regions of electromagnetic spectrum our eyes cannot detect. But again, there's not really much different between, there's nothing um, fundamentally different between the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum except for, the, of course, the wavelength and frequency. So um, we can see um, infrared light if we set up an IR detector to detect the wavelengths of light that are um, larger than, say, um, 750 nanometers. Okay, our eyes can't detect that, but we can develop technologies that do. And all of these, um, this color metric plot is uh, corresponding to the different wavelengths of infrared light that are being observed by some IR camera.